Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Peter Svidla and Evgeny Bareva. This game was played in the Netherlands in 2004. Peter Svidla had white pieces and he started with e4. Evgeny Bareva played e6, d4, d5 at the French defense. Knight to c3, d takes on e4, knight takes on e4, knight to d7, knight to f3, knight on g to f6, bishop to d3, c5 attacking white center, Peter Svidla castle kingside, knight takes on e4, bishop takes on e4, knight to f6, bishop to g5, pinning the knight, c takes on d4, knight takes on d4, black to move, bishop to e7, is the most played move in this position. Evgeny Bariu played h6, asking bishop a question. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Would you take the knight, or would you perhaps play bishop to h4 or bishop to f4? Peter Svidla captured the knight. If bishop to h4, then g5, and if you want to save the bishop, then knight takes on e4. But the simple solution is the best. Bishop takes knight, queen takes bishop. Is pawn takes bishop a better move? It's not. Black would have a problem with this move down the track if he wants to castle kingside. So we have a queen takes on f6, queen to d3. White is much better developed. And black has a weakness on b5 squared. The knight may jump there, or maybe queen can go there. So, a6 was played. Rook from a to d1. Bishop to e7. Intending to castle kingside next move. This is very interesting moment of the game. White move. What would you do? Please pause and find the best move for white in this position. Did you pause? What did you find? There was a surprise. Peter Svidla played knight to c6. No joking. e5. If castling, knight takes on e7. And after queen to e7, queen to d6, and position 5 is white. If b takes on c6, the most obvious move. Then bishop takes on c6 check, and after king to f8, bishop takes rook, and white is winning. So, Bari played e5. Knight takes on e7, queen takes on e7. f4, intending f5, pawn takes pawn on f4. If castling, f5, cramping black's position. So we have e takes on f4, white to move. What would you do? White play the move and Blake resigned. The move is Bishop takes pawn on b7. But he resigned in view of this continuation. Bishop takes on b7. Rook from f to e1, winning the queen. And your queen takes on b7. Then queen to d8. Check. That was a short and sweet game from Peter Svidla. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.